And a lot of veterans will tell you that, uh, you know, the army sometimes picks up some sketchy-ass people, man. They do. They just legit do. Uh, I got eight thoughts donating eight dollars. Uh-oh. It says, how does that codcock taste? Uh... Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> <Got he. laughs> Well, hello everybody, and welcome to an another amazing Call of Duty World War II Supply Drop K Blue Jeep Fantastic Next Level MLG 360 The No Scope Video. Everyone is super duper Cooper. Goddamn CSGO just happened to find a website excited with my best friend Brock and won six thousand dollars just luckily about this new Call of Duty World War II. But you know what? I'm gonna show you some side by side comparisons. As you can see in the background right now is Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare by Sledgehammer Games, Boots on the Ground, Team Deathmatch Classic. You're looking at it. It looks very familiar. It looks very similar. It looks very coincidentally like some other kind of game that may be just a reskin version of it. Yeah, that game, my friend, is Call of Duty World War II. If you look at them side by side, I'll do my best here to put them side by side for you guys. Dude, you can tell it's exactly the same game. The sound effects are the same. The running animations are the same. It's essentially the same game, except all we're doing is you're taking away the space boots, jetpacks, wall running of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and making it boots on the ground with fake Nazi zombies. No, we're not doing Nazi symbolism. Black women fighting on the front lines of World War II because that shit's realistic. We're keeping it all inclusive and keeping it authentic. Thank you, Michael Kanji, my cop sucking ass it's the same game look at them side by side they run the same the guns are the exact same the field of view is the same the animations are the same i mean jesus christ only thing difference is that, like i said you got oprah winfrey besides you fighting against the nazis because we're keeping it authentic it's the same game and everyone is like a super duper next level face clan having sex with sexy sexy sniper wolf and a threesome with that mexican weather girl who's got a fake ass losing their mind about it. like oh my god it's gonna be so amazing boots on the ground let me ask you this Every single flying the barrel jetpack Call of Duty, like Advanced Warfare and Infinite Dog Shit, all had classic playlists. How well did those do? Well, you know what? Ain't thoughts listening by those games were created in the way for the space boots and the space packs and the jet packs and Timmy Newby Neutron and all that stuff. The games weren't designed for boots on the ground. Well, Jimmy Moore on T Martin subscriber. That may be a little bit true, but it doesn't negate the fact that the game is not going to be somehow next level. All oh, by God, Call of Duty is back, baby. We're going to boots on the ground. Hey, Activision, where's my check? Oh my God, it's going to be the greatest game ever. Sledgehammer's going to save the series. I'm still waiting on my check, Activision. Paid content brought in you part by Hollow Point, T Martin, Drifter, Ali Gay. Anyways, guys, literally, seriously, calm down. I don't mean to be like, you know what, Debbie Downer. Bro, you're totally bumming my high eight thoughts. But just look at the comparison side by side. It's the same fucking game. If, if you think Sledgehammer Games is going to come out here and be the Jesus of goddamn Call of Duty and save us all and save us sinners and make Call of Duty somehow next level, we're all going to hold hands and carry on down the road to goddamn amazement and suck off Michael Conge in the back alley behind Sledgehammer Games in Santa Barbara, California. It ain't going to happen. I'm not T. Martin. I'm not Drifter. I'm not hanging out with David Von Der Haar's health in the hot tub, having a goddamn circle jerk while getting free COD points and getting all the free DLC guns early, providing some bullshit, trying to goddamn pull the wool over your eyes. Also, if any of you kids out here believe that Michael Kanji and all these dickheads over at Sledgehammer Games and Activision are telling you the truth and they say that it's only going to be cosmetics only, then you're a fucking moron. I'm just saying, like, you know what? Maybe it'll be a good game. Maybe it won't. Every fucking year, it's the same thing. It's a Call of Duty community. It's honestly goddamn retarded. Every year, it's the same thing. Oh, my God. This year, before we had the jetpacks, every year, people were like, you know what? This year, Call of Duty's going to be great. I can't wait. to be excited. Can't wait for November 4th to roll around so we can go out there. Oh, my God. Midnight release. This time, it's going to be better. They're going to fix it. A month later, fuck this game. I can't wait for next year. Next year is going to be better. There's somehow a crack in the code of Call of Duty that has got people losing their minds. Like, basically... Activision is a crack dealer and you kids now are all a bunch of hypes. You're all a goddamn bunch of fucking tweakers. You're out there tweaking, geeking. There's like you're scratch your neck. Oh man, can I get the next Call of Duty, man? Can I get a free? Can I get a cuff? But, but can I get the next Call of Duty? It's going to be good, man. This next batch is going to be fucking get your high. You're like chasing the dragon. 
for those who don't know what chasing a dragon means, it's like when the first time you get high on heroin or crack or whatever, not that they were smoked or goddamn injected that shit. I'm like Ronald Reagan, Nancy Reagan. I dare, I say no to drugs. But you know what? The first time you smoke or do high, you never get that high again. And pretty much it's what these crackheads are chasing for the rest of their lives, trying to goddamn regain that that high, chasing a dragon. That's what Call of Duty is. And all these kids out here are goddamn sucking on the glass dick. That's another word because when you smoke crack, you know, you suck on the glass dick. It looks, you know, glass pipe. Whatever. The point is, you're all a bunch of fucking morons who have been brainwashed by Activision thinking that it's going to be somehow some next year great fucking thing. Yes, I'm going to buy it. I'll probably play it. But you know what? I'll be bored of it after two months just like I am right now. Have you really seen any Call of Duty content out from me ever? No. Pretty much you just see me shitting all the retards in the Call of Duty community because the game is fucking whack after a couple months. The party's over. All the bitches have been fucked. All the goddamn beer has been drunk. And you guys are hanging around holding your dicks. Get over it. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. And with all that being said, my name's Eight Thoughts. And last but not least, I want y'all to stay black. And don't let the honky cracker reptilian shapeshifter build the boobies. Hope the smooth chemtrails. 9-11 was most definitely an inside job. Just Google Tower 7, jump up Bohemian Grove, worship Moloch the Owl God, the Earth is flat, the moon landing was fake, Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. White man, bring ya down.